Yo, what's going on and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video and today we are continuing the Lantern Rite Festival with another one of these options that we haven't looked at quite yet which is the Lantern Rite Tales and if you look at the event description apparently you're supposed to do these to increase the festival fever I'm not exactly sure what that does but I know you need to increase it to a certain level to actually pick this free character that you get so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I believe we only have this one unlocked as we need to get further in the quest line to actually do the second one. So let's go ahead and do the first one. It believe it looks like we're gonna be doing some chores for uh Wang Ya, who we talked to a few episodes ago in one of the quests when she was explaining the lantern right to us. If you go in, you should already have the quest, assuming that you've done the two story quests before it that we've already done. And you'll be getting some primo gems for it. I forgot to teleport myself to Leeway, so we're kind of in Mondstadt, but we'll get there quick. And she seems to be in the same spot as last time as well. Alrighty. Uh, there's another quest down there. I'm kind of... Oh, it's like a weird camera dude. Now that, now that he's no longer an event, he has some quests. Uh, he found the merchant that sold him the camera. Luckily, I had the photos you took without them. After taking a look at the photos, he finally agreed to take a look at the camera. Brought a bottle of some sort of potion with him. He explained that this camera works differently from regular models. You need to add some of this potion to make sure the photos turn out normal. You don't add any of the the photos turn out just like yours did, just a page of color rather than images. Less interested in the camera itself now, this potion is what intrigues me. Most people will just buy the camera, right? But buy it once, use it forever, but this potion is a consumable. Ah, genius. Yep, you are rambling. I was actually just trying to move on. Why am I giving him a camera? Sure, whatever. Yeah, I mean, you're just gonna make me buy the potion. <laughs> Genius. Planning to talk to my contact about importing some new kinds of potion for the camera. <laughs> yep, okay, great, fantastic. Now we got a special camera that runs off of a consumable. Fantastic. Alright, let's go talk to Wang Ya. What's the matter? No worries, I'm trying to sort out everything that needs to be taken care of for Lantern Right. It's just that the more I think about it, the more issues come up. Even though my colleagues took parts of the workload upon themselves, it turns out this year to coordinate the Zhao Lantern delivery, if I don't buck up and prepare everything, I won't make it in time. The delivery? Right, when I said Zhao Lantern delivery, I meant more than just sending out the lanterns themselves. Simply put, it's more about playing the role of the Lantern Rite Ambassador, passing on well wishes, and creating the festival atmosphere. Even with most people being off work for the festival, including some store owners and their staff, there are still essential workers who can't just take a break. For example, those in charge of keeping order in the celebration like the Millilith. The Ministry of Civil Affairs usually sends them just to acknowledge their hard work around the lantern right season. I was about to visit the Millilith responsible for keeping our city safe to gift them Zhao lanterns as a token of gratitude. However, we're a little bit short-staffed and haven't managed to send out the gifts to the soldiers. Okay, are we doing that? Yes, maybe. Really, that's amazing. Thank you. Uh, I didn't read what I just answered to her. Let me see which of the Millilith haven't been checked off yet. Zhang Ming, Hong Yi, and Kai Li. I don't know how to say that last guy's name. His name is too hard. I'll mark their stations for you. I can't thank you enough. Okay. Are we going far? No, we are not going very far. But it's still a teleporter, I think. I'm gonna speed deliver all these gifts. Who knows if this is the only chore that we have to do? The quest is just so called City Chores. Hello, sir. 
Lantern right, gift delivery. Quiet down a bit, I'm working out here. What do you mean gift delivery? Oh, it's from the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I see another year, another Lantern right, and I'd want to head home earlier this year too. Given the current situation, I can't relax just yet. I guess I'll be heading home a few hours late again. Thanks for coming all this way. I'll take this, thanks. When's that fella going to leave? <laughs> I don't understand what's happening here, but okay. That old man is just standing in front of that house. Oh, hello, sir. What's wrong with the well? Led to right gift delivery, huh? This must be from the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Thank you, I'll take it. Still, I need to remain on duty for a while more to ensure that no residents come to draw water from the well. What? Why can't people take water from the well? Who knows what's wrong with it? But either way, it can't be drunk from now. Okay, well, that's not good, but sure. Where's his last dude at? Oh, he's all the way over here. That seems like a pretty big problem. That's not like a you can't drink from it now problem. That's like a we need a new well problem. Because you don't just fix a well that you can't drink from. It doesn't just magically become drinkable. Oh, I can't fly down this bridge. Oh, there we go. What? Dang it. I haven't finished my writing, writing my wish. Be a good girl, little Jian. That nice uncle from the mill went to fetch it for you. Have you seen... Uh, Kai... Kylie? Kyle? Kyla? I don't know. Are you looking for that nice millilith? Little Jian was writing her wish on a Zhao lantern when she suddenly lost her grip on it and the lantern flew away that way. And he chased the lantern? What a fool! That millilith told us he'd seen it hanging on a tree. Oh, it was just in a tree. What's so special about the Zhao lantern? I told her we could make another one, but she... Uh, no, we can't. My brother worked so hard to make that lantern. Little John, that nice uncle will bring it back to us in no time. My apologies. If you really need to talk to that Melilith, you can find him over there. All right, well. He's decently far away. Probably could have teleported. Actually, he's closer than I thought. I thought he was on the other side of this little mountain. Oh, we're out of stamina. Oh, no. Send help. Hello, sir. For Archon's sake, how did I get there? How do I get there? Perhaps I should try something different. What are you doing? Traveler, huh? It's nothing. I'm just wondering how to climb a tree and retrieve the Zhao Lantern. It's hard to fight gravity in full armor. I just slip back down each time. Hey, would you mind lending me a helpful hand? Recovering that Zhao Lantern shouldn't be too difficult for you. Sure. I mean, the Traveler doesn't need to wear armor. We're just in combat all the time, but who needs armor? We just wear normal clothes to fight. Great, many thanks. Let's get it done as quickly as possible so the little girl can finally cheer up. Where exactly is it? Oh, there it is. Up. Oh, branch. Dodge. Come on. I believe in you. Aha! Da 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 Yo, what up? Let me take a look. Yeah, that's the one. I mean, uh, you're standing right next to me. You couldn't tell that I got the lantern. You just made those kids day. I'll give it back to them. I sure hope. They're still waiting where I left them about the gift. This must be from the Ministry of Civil Affairs. All right, gratefully received. Thanks for the trouble. Was it also your duty as a member of the Melilith? Do you mean retrieving the lost Zhao Lanterns? Of course. It doesn't matter if it's finding Zhao Lanterns, chasing after evil doers, or defeating monsters. The Melilith's duty is to help those in need. Thank you once again. I need to hurry up and give it back to those kids. And then I still have other tasks to complete. You know... That guy seems like a pretty nice guy. It is probably his duty to help those in need even with stupid tasks, but he did it even though it's a stupid task. Well, he tried to do it. He made me do it, but the sentiment's still there. Alright, now we go talk to Wang Ya. We did it. We d Everyone got their present. You're a real lifesaver. I wouldn't have made it without you. Do you have to stay on- I mean, it literally took us less than 10 minutes. Do you have to stay on duty throughout the whole festival? Well, the Ministry of Civil Affairs will schedule alternating shifts for them. 
but leeway is too large. There are too many stations and places that need patrolling. We simply don't have enough recruits, even though they take turns. Some of them will get the shorter end of the stick and work during the Lantern Rite. Besides considering how grand the Lantern Rite celebrations are each year, some parts of the city require additional resources. No matter how we distribute our people, there's never enough manpower. Sounds like a tall order. Well, that's our job. We'll do what we can to ensure that everyone has a nice lantern right. Which reminds me of other people who might need help around the festival time. It'd be nice if you could lend them a hand. The more people we encourage to participate in the lantern right, the more festive its atmosphere will get. We send Zhao lanterns because we like for everyone to be able to release one and make their own wishes. On a broader scale, we'd like the Lantern Rite to spread far and wide. It'd be great if everyone could experience its atmosphere. Lantern Rite is meant for everyone, after all. Alright, duty calls. I hope you have a great time during the Lantern Rite. So is that just like telling us that there's gonna be more quests, or are there more quests right now? Let's check the menu. So if we go in here, oh, oh, I wasn't expecting it to change into a page of lots of things. Sure, except all. What are we doing? Okay, so we probably have to go visit all of these people. <clears throat> Where are these requests? Oh, geez, they're all in my quest log. All right. Uh, well, let's get started. We still got plenty of time, so we'll start at the top. Seems the most reasonable. Because they appear to all be next to each other. That way I don't lose sight of where they are. What is this? Beneath Splendid Lanterns? There's another world quest? Probably should do that at some point. What is this quest? It's another game. Oh, it's one of the requests. It appears. I don't know. We'll, we'll do all the other ones first and then we'll figure it out. Uh, Wamin Restaurant. I know where that is. Although I'm going to teleport because I'm lazy. Okay. So that first one wasn't the chores. It was just introducing that we had chores to do. <laughs> Chef Mal. How many more dishes was it? What am I doing? Why I'm running around with Wamin Restaurant, of course. Things have been getting busy with everyone going out to eat during the lantern, right? Even travelers from far away lands have come and visit and join the festive festivities or something like that. Even though my dear Zhang Ling has returned to help, we're still struggling to keep our heads above water. As a matter of fact, she went out on a delivery. While everyone else has been out hanging lanterns for the festival, we've been too busy to make a single lantern yet. If you don't mind, Traveler, could you lend us a hand? Do you happen to know Atsuko? Nope. She's the girl from Inazuma down by the docks. Makes sense. That sounds like a pretty Japanese name. We've prepared her order, so you could you please deliver her food? I've even made her extra large portions to celebrate the festival. There's also the others who worked out by the docks. Wrench, Wang, Hammer, Lee, Guag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're still regular patrons here and always look after our business. They seem to still be busy doing their work, even though it's time for the festival. I would like to prepare some food to give them, but I'm afraid we're simply too busy and we won't have a chance to leave the restaurant. If you could, traveler, please help me ask them what they would like to eat and I'll whip up whatever they request. Thanks a lot, traveler. Just come back here when you've done what the man. This I thought it'd be like, uh, give me a potato. Instead, where am I going? I only got like thirty seconds to deliver this, and I'm just like slightly following the map because I'm unclear as to where I'm actually going. But I think this is it. Yeah, I thought he'd just be like, give me a potato, but instead he's like, give me, give me everything. Yeah, here's your order. I mean, it only took 25 seconds, but okay. Oh, thank you so much. I thought it, uh, I thought that it would still take a while longer. All the festivities for the Lantern Rite have been making me feel a little homesick, but I'm cer but I certainly won't be returning to Inazuma anytime soon. I wonder how things are back in Inazuma. Da 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 da. Okay, so now we gotta go talk to all the dudes. 
Oh, it's not a whole bunch of people. This guy just has a, a name that's like 500 words long. Chef Mao wanted to give you a treat. Yep, so what do you want to eat? Fish. Fish paired with uh, sweet and sour. Sweet and sour fish. Got it. Okay. Um, I'm supposed to recommend stuff? I don't know any of these dishes. I have no idea what they taste like, but I assume they are all correct. Sure, crystal shrimp sounds good. What if... <laughs> okay, crystal shrimp, not a good idea. Got it. Um, well, this one says fish, so I'm going to assume that one has fish in it. I didn't know it was a trick question. Come on. I, I mean, I would consider shrimp fishy enough to count as a fish dish. Sweet and sour, yep, yep, it's exactly what you asked for. Genius, okay. As soon as I'm finished, I'll go release uh, with, with Ki Ming. Uh, Chef Mao wants to give you a dish. Uh, something without fish or meat and something with a strong flavor. Like a light pastry. Uh, well, both of these say fish or meat, so we'll go with the other one. It's nice and light and tastes great. That'll be perfect. All right. Put me down for lotus flower crisp, please. Genius. All right, where's the last dude? Why is he back the other way? I don't think we're going to finish all these requests in one episode. There's a lot more requests than I anticipated. Especially since the requests are taking longer than I thought as well. If they were all like, give this man a potato or give this man a, a, a sweet flower, I could have done that. I could have done nine of those in ten minutes. This seems less possible. Uh, let's finish this. Uh, Chef Mao wants to give you a treat. Oh, yep, Chef. Uh, the... I thought it said, I remember Chef Mao, and it's like, yeah, I would hope that you do. Um, hot soup and crisp bamboo shoots. Anything with meat is good enough for me. Um, yeah, bamboo shoot soup, that seems pretty good. That's the one, I mean, that's a good one. Sounds, yep, pretty good. Yep, burp, burp. Okay, let's teleport back because I'm now under a boat. And then we'll see where we stand after completing this request. Did you deliver the food? Yes, we did. Great, I knew I could count on you. Did you ask a ranch, ranch wang, Gu Guan Hai, and Zihua what they would like to eat? Yeah, we asked them all. Squirrel fish, uh, yep. Uh, flower, lotus flower crisp, yep. Thanks for going and asking them what they'd like to eat. Here, now I should get started. Do we have to deliver those dishes too, or is that tomorrow, or like, the next step in the quest? <laughs> the two of us can barely keep up with- there's no way we'd have time for hanging lanterns. I could take care of her for you. You do that? I'll leave the lantern to you then. Yup, it doesn't seem like this is over quite yet. Alright, uh... Oh, I already have a lantern. I made lots of lanterns earlier so I could play the tower defense game mode. I only have six left, but I got the materials to make like another 20, so. The Xiao lantern looks great. I'll be sure to write a wish on it shortly. Once Shag Lig gets back, we can release the lantern together as father and daughter. Thanks for your help, traveler. Here, take these as a token of my appreciation. Okay, we finally. We finished a single thing. Also, each of these is worth 30 Primo gems. That's a lot of Primo gems. All right, let's look in here. We still got this, which is worth 200 Fever. It's a world quest. Let's see if we can find Talk to Brother Kian or Xian. Uh, let's see if we can find that one on the list of things. And we'll probably do one more, uh, one more chore. So we finished this one, I believe. Oh no, that's the special one. Which one did we finish? 
Oh, it's gone. The one that we finished is gone. And then there's uh, Chef Mao's lantern. Okay, 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 okay. So let's do the special one then. Yeah? Or should we save the special one? We'll save the special one. We'll do another one where we do a whole bunch of these, maybe, with the special one included. And then I'll do the rest of them by myself. Uh, iron ingot. Okay, sure. Oh my gosh, it's so far away. What the? Oh, I remember this guy. Why is this name Iron Ingot? <laughs> What a terrible name. Unless it's like a nickname. The mysterious adeptus of the highest Are you stargazing? Yes and no, the lantern right after all. It only seems fitting to look upon such an elegant sight during the festive times. I've been learning how to write poetry too. The other guys tell me that girls these days are really into that sort of thing. Ha, I'm sure Z-Way will... I don't know who that is. Uh, ahem. Well, I've heard a lot of constellation names from Seaway. They're all so beautiful. So you see, I have to thank her somehow. I was thinking that I should write a poem on the Jiao Lantern and find a place to release it together with Seaway. We'll eat snacks and sing songs. If this doesn't get the job done, nothing will get the job done. With, uh, I mean, uh, this will do the job of helping us enjoy the festival more. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, I want to find a quiet and scenic spot away from other pedestrians. I started asking around and I found two potential spots so far. Here, have a look. The other guys told me that they've released shower lanterns at these spots before, but I still need to come up with a poem and I'm afraid running around to check the spots will just douse my creativity. Or douse my creativity. Could you help me go check out the two spots? Sure, thanks for your help. I'm counting on you. Okay, where are these spots? Uh, one's right there. I assume that's the only one that we can see at the moment. Seems like the best spot to reach that spot. Have I ever been to this road? I feel like this is one of those roads that you just never go on. Because there's so many teleporters around it. That you would never need to take this road for any reason. What is that? Oh, it's a glazed lily. I was like, that doesn't look like a normal flower. Usually you don't see the glazed lilies that are actually blooming, so that seems kind of like, unique. Most of the time, uh... Are they usually blooming? I think I'm confusing them. Yeah, those are all blooming. The scenery here is pretty nice. I think I'm confusing them with the, the night grass or whatever. Yeah, I guess maybe I have seen these. It just looked weird in the sun. And take a picture. What do you mean by take a picture? Like this kind of picture? Like what am I taking a picture of? Myself or of the, the site? Oh, that looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 the little the little dude's kind of in the way, but that's okay. How do I take a picture? Enter. A chow. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Yep. Apparently, that's it. That's the first time the game has forced me to take a picture. Also, I think the first time I have taken a picture in this game. I've, I've like looked at the camera mode briefly, but I never actually took any pictures. I don't even know where the pictures go. Like, do they they save onto your hard drive or something? Or do they save into the game? Who knows? Hey, squirrel. All right, we need to take a picture here too. This place looks pretty sweet. I like the other one more because you could look into the sunset, but this one seems okay. Ha chow! Alright, uh, before Ganyu falls asleep, 
Let's go back and talk to Iron Ingot. Uh, right, he's over here. Seaway stumbles across an iron ingot. No, 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 that won't do. That's laying it on a bit thick. <laughs> what a terrible poem that has become so far. Oh, when did you get here? Did you check those two spots? Sure did. That didn't take you long. Now let's have a look. All right, let me have a look here. Hmm, the surrounding scenery of this spot is very unique, whereas the other spot is centered in a more picturesque landscape. It reminds me of the line. Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no, uh, I forget what's after that. <laughs> All right, well, anyway, never mind. Still, these spots look bright and impressive. I've got it. I know which one to pick, but there's still something I'd like to ask of you. Oh my gosh, these quests are never as simple as you think. My friends told me that when you go to see someone, it's best to bring something to eat. What do you think I should prepare? Uh, almond tofu seems great. Yep. Cool. Could you please help me? <laughs> well, it doesn't really mean anything if you make me make it, but whatever. <clears throat> Countless sparks fly. Oh, that's a good line. Uh, do I already have almond tofu? I think so. Yep, it's ready. Uh, yeah, you could have this normal one. Or do you want the perfect one? You could have the delicious one. Just to make your date go better. This looks great. Everything's ready. All we need to do is find Seaway. I suppose that I have to find her? Maybe? Oh, hey, she was right here all along. She's an astronomer? From this angle, the constellation looks just like a dog. Now I must think of a suitable name. Oh, it's you, Iron Ingot. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, well, you see, uh, I was just strolling outside the city, and I happened to come across a very scenic spot. A nice spot, you mean for stargazing? Yeah, that's it, a nice spot for stargazing. It'd also be a great place to release shout lanterns. See, I've already prepared one for us. And look, I've even written a poem on it. Sparks fly where shovel and... Why am I here exactly? <laughs> where shovel and meteorite meet. Yes, well, even though I don't really know what your wish is, the poem is quite interesting. But you shouldn't let others see your wish before releasing the shout lanterns. Otherwise, it will never come true. And so, what exactly do you need from me? Well, I... He found a very suitable spot for releasing... So if you'd like to release a lantern tonight, you could go... Yeah, that one. Releasing a Zhao, Zhao lantern. Oh, I'm sorry. I was actually hoping to go somewhere away from all the lanterns. Wow. Zhao lanterns are so bright and they obstruct my view of the stars. I think I'll be going as far away... Or as far as I can away from the festivities. Thanks for your kind offer. What? She just disappeared. I didn't even click anything. I didn't get to read the rest of that line either. And there she goes. Uh, keep your chin up. I'm fine. Clearly, I must have made my poem too abstract. Seaway didn't get it at all. Don't worry. I won't let it get me down. She'll finally understand my meaning one day. Thanks for your help anyway, traveler. Here, these are for you. Oh, I guess I should at least release this shout lantern now. All right, Jowl Lantern number two done. I think that's gonna do it for this one. We'll go ahead and take a look. We still got seven of these left. We got two lanterns in the air now, one from Iron Ingot and one from Chef Mao. Can't click on the moon. But yep, that's gonna do it for this one. We'll probably get to work on some of these other ones, including the special world quest one next time. But either way, hopefully you enjoyed this one and I will see you next time.